Hello my darlings and welcome back to another Let's Build New Crest. <laughs> it's going to get more and more interesting every time I, I just want to try and jazz things up a bit with the intro. So <laughs> that was what you got today. I hope you enjoyed that. I'm just going to do something just one second because it was just annoying me in my peripheral vision there. Yeah, there we go. That's better. <laughs> Hello. Welcome back to Let's Build Newcrest. You might have been expecting a speed build coming instead of this, but I have a plan. Um, I'm going to be bringing out four episodes of Let's Build Newcrest this week, mainly because we need to finish this bloody build off. It needs to be done. It needs to be completed, and it needs to be. It needs to get gone. That's all I'm saying. Um, so today, obviously, we're going to be building the um, bookshop. We're going to be building the book. Well, we're going to be building the exterior. We're going to be building the exterior to the building and also the communal garden area. So I've obviously fenced in the communal garden area already. I've used this base game lovely number. Um, I just thought it was fitting. And then I put the gate on like a diagonal there. I thought that looked really cute. Um, and then next, the next episode after that, we will do the um, furnishing of said bookstore. And one of you lovely people also said to go down into the basement to the bookstore which i'm going to do as well i'm going to go down to the basement to the bookstore so it will be double story um and then the episodes after that or one episode if i can get it done in time probably we'll be able to so it might only be three episodes this week or i'll try and do four we can move on to a new one then um then we'll do the yoga studio and the meditation area as well i thought that would be really cool i just want to get this build finished but i will be getting a speed build out this week so you should be expecting five videos from me this week maybe um hopefully i can come across and do that for you lovely people i really do but anyway welcome welcome one and all i'm gonna warn you right now if you hear my doorbell go and blue barking i'm actually waiting for a delivery at the minute and it's due to arrive in the next well they, they're giving me a time frame between the next two hours so if you hear a bork bork then um yeah that will that will be my delivery delivery coming um so yeah don't be alarmed okay don't be alarmed my sweeties uh, but yeah, hello, welcome. I hope you've had a good week or a, a good weekend, may I say. I've had a lovely weekend. I've been absolutely 100% addicted to Animal Crossing. You'd be pleased to know for any of you Animal Crossing friend, friends, um, fans out there. Um, can we not go there? Can we, can you just not know? Okay, okay. <laughs> what about there? There's a, good, there's a sweet spot, isn't there? And I need to grab it. What about on the inside? No. Nope. Okay. Maybe I need to just not. Oh, I really hate the trims in uh, Sims 4. Really do. What are we, like, four minutes in and I'm already bitching about the build mode? Oh, it's going to be a great day today. <laughs> it's going to be a lovely day. Now, my thoughts up here were... No, hear me out flopping a really nice yeah this maybe this one or even this no not that one the new kind of base game yeah or this one up here along here like so hmm or should we use that one i'm gonna go for like a black and white theme with this um yeah i think that one yeah, we'll go for that one. We're going to go for a black and white theme for this uh, build itself. I think it'd be really cute to do it a black and white. Um, and try and make it look kind of Mayfair. London Mayfair-esque. Um, we'll stick into that. Stick into that. This isn't going to register as a wall because this is weird here. But I wonder if I could just stretch that out and make it into a room then instead. We shall try this for science. For science, my friends. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, I am 100% and utterly addicted to Animal Crossing. I really am. <laughs> I cannot stop playing it. Uh, and that is another reason why there isn't a speed build today. Because I have been, yeah, playing it every day for hours. <laughs> for hours. But hey, what can you do in a lockdown environment apart from treat yourself to a bit of gaming if you are a gamer 
Hey, hmm. Right, let's get this back on first. Why is that on the... Oh, yeah. I was just thinking, why is that brick on the inside there? But it's from there. Okay, I get it. I won't shout. I won't shout. I'm sorry that the camera keeps rising. Rising. Yeah. In there, like so. And then we'll use that one for this one here. Lovely. Do I want to do that? I think I just want to paint, paint that all the way along there. Yeah, we'll do that. That looks better. That looks much better. And then we can use the white brick above here. Above her. So this is obviously going to be where the yoga studio is at the top there. Lovely. And then on the bottom as well, if you will. Stunning. Okay. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, I do believe so. I think that will look lovely. I'm unsure what shop window I'm going to use yet. Um, I mean, these kind of windows would have looked great here, but we've already used them. We want to use something a little bit different. So let's have a little goosey gander. Um, hmm. Will the university windows fit on this building? Because it is a little bit wider than that one was. So it might. It bloody might do. We're going to try it for science. And hope for the best. Um, can we do one bigger? They are medium. Can we use you here? If I liked it. Oh, we could. We could. We could even use... Oh, I know what we'll do. Do these come in a black and white? I can't remember. I don't think they do. They come in these fugly colours, don't they? I mean, that's white. That's grey. That's pretty. I want black and white windows. I really do. I mean, that's not black and white, but that's white. We could do one there, one there. And then maybe just do the white in this as well. Like, but I'll do like three here. One, two, three. Or should we just have three at the top as well? I don't know. I kind of like the two in the middle there. But I'm just thinking for balance wise. Let's have a look. Oh, no, I kind of like that. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll do that. Just wonder if I can put a little balcony just on the little edges. The edges there. I don't think we've got anything that would match in very well. I would size it down. But um, I think these all come with like gold on them, don't they? Yeah, they do. No, it's not the vibe, my friends. It's not the vibe. Oh. This could bring the element of black in. Because obviously we've got the black iron fence there. Um, I mean, I don't hate that. But I'm also not in love with it. I think it's just too ornate. Yeah, no, I don't like that either. I think we need to go simpler. I mean, this is base game. It does come in a black and white. No, I don't like that. <laughs> we don't like you. You're not invited. What about you? No, you're too substantial. Yeah, there's not going to be any more that will fit what the vibe I want here. That's probably the closest to it. But I just think it's too much of an impact in black. Maybe if I did it in the grey instead. I know I'm about nine feet away. Nine feet. Nine. Try 90. Um, hmm, I don't know. No. No, we're not going to do it. I think it's just too much. It is way just too much. I could use this fence up here as well, maybe. Let's try that as well. Let's try that for absolute science. Um, Can I have the grid on, please? Thank you. Thank you. Um, What are you doing? I didn't ask for a wall, darling. We asked for an iron railing. How dare you. There we go. Maybe. But I could separate them off with like these. And then do the same there. Yes. That's better. That's much better. And then I think for a trim, we'll just do not too much of a jutty, like a jutty, jutty one. <laughs> but I don't want it necessarily inlaid either. Yeah, maybe the the jutting. Even though we said no jutting. But this one, the jutting one juts a lot less than the actual simple one does so we'll go for that do you want to do it in black i think we do 
I think we do. Let's have a look. I'm going to do a black roof as well just to pull in all the black accents together. Yeah. Yeah, I'm kind of there for that. Okay, shop window. I'm thinking about actually using... Oh, that would look really good here. Uh, I don't like it with the modern door next to it, though. No, maybe not. Let's say I was thinking about this one as well, but I think that's going to look even crapper. Yeah, it's not the one. It is not the one. But I think the one might be maybe this one. I could like. Uh, no, I don't like that either. Hmm, this is going to be a lot more difficult than I imagined. Oh, that one's nice, though. Hmm. I just don't like the way that the doors, the modern doors right next to it. Something's not sitting well with me. What about you? In the, like, no, that looks weird. It's a lovely window, though, but I don't think it's for this shop in particular. <laughs> in particular. I think maybe this one, but I think I don't think I'm going to use it in black. I might try it for... Do we have a plain white swatch for this one? I really hope we do. Oh, we do. Yeah, I think so. But I think what's throwing me off is that modern door there. But I can't put that there and then have an entrance there because then there's like too much door on one side. Maybe. Let's try it. Let's try it. And then door. Door. I want to use something like this, but maybe try it for a white. Do we have one without the uh, gold on? No, I think they all do come in a gold. They've all got a gold accent on the door, haven't they? Yeah, they do. No, that is a shame. A real shame. Hmm. Kind of preferring this one, though, just because it's a little bit taller than that other one um i can't see where it's highlighted here oh there it is uh can we just use you in a white yeah we'll do that but i think i'm gonna flip it i'm gonna flip it the other way there we go yeah that's not too bad actually i thought that was gonna throw me off with having these doors side by side each other but i think because this is poking out it's fine it's absolutely fine yeah okay Okay, um, we definitely need a, a corbel, a corbel or two in a dark accent. So maybe using this one in the black. What? How? You're really large, aren't you? Um, that kind of looks cool, though. And maybe just do another one. Just tuck it like there. Just because I'm going to go up again and do it underneath the balconies here as well. Oh, yeah. No, I like that. Yeah, I do. Let me just try this window in a black. Can we see you just in a plain black, my love? And then maybe the door. Let's have a look. Let's have a little look. Stand back. No, I prefer it in white. I will keep it in white. Yeah, that's pretty. Yeah, I'm enjoying that. It's speaking to me. It's saying, hello. It's saying, hello, I'm a shop. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> uh, Christ. <laughs> right. Um, I'm going to flop this one in, but I'm going to keep that one flapping over the edge on this build, I think. No, I'm not. Nope. I'm going to tuck both flaps in. Tucking those flaps in. We're going to whiffle that forward once again the roof's not working out for me um let me just get this right height yes yeah and i'm gonna do a couple of um dormers as well i do have the dormers in mind whether or not they'll work uh what about you what colors do you come in no oh this, these are really nice though do you not come in a white and black like this one does i know this one comes in a black and white where are you? Yeah, this one. I hate the blue windows on it. I hate those. Well, windows. I'm doing that again. I'm doing that again. Oh, that's not too bad. I like the... I don't know why, but I like the uh, shape of them. What about you? What about you? 
Uh, no, I want it rounded. I do, I want it rounded. What about you? What about just one? Oh, that looks really pretty, just one. Let's have a look at the tones. That's probably going to be the only black and white one we've got, isn't it? Let's have a look. Oh, or that one. Oh, that's pretty. Yeah, that's the one. That is the one. And we're going to go for a dark uh, rooftop. I should have maybe chose the roof tiles first before I chose the dormer. Because I reckon as soon as I put this on, it's not going to fit in well. Yep. So maybe I'll go for grey. Oh, decisions, my friends. Decisions. Decisions. Right, okay. Oh, I'm working t 200 feet away. I'm so sorry that I do that. I tend to do that a lot when I'm building as well, and it just makes things so much more difficult. And yet, I cannot stop for the life of me. Okay. Yeah, there we go. Oh, yeah, I like that. Yeah, and the dorm was fine now as well. If anything, it brings a bit of lightness up into the top of the building. Um, obviously, we need to get signage out the front here, but we're not going to go too mad with the uh, sign. I know there is an actual, um, like, a bookshop sign with, like, books on them. So I'm going to try and find that in a second. I just need to put this bin in a better place. It's really awkward there. Yeah, there's better. Because they're just in front of, like, entrances. I don't like that. I do not like that. Yeah, that's cute. We'll do a little sign here. Right, I'm going to go and find that sign anyway, because it's a very particular sign, and I'm going to have a little whiffle through everything. There we go. I found it. I found the sign. Um, I might just maneuver it just slight. Just so it's not in the way of the door. There we go. Yeah, like around about there. I mean, it would work up a bit better up higher, but you kind of get the gist that it's going to be a bit more of a bookshop now because it's got books on. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Moving on. And I might put some white flowers out here. Might actually put some white flowers. Or can we go a bit more bourgeois? A bourgeois. We need to put some uh, floor tiles on the balcony. No, not you. Maybe I'll stick with the base game white flowers. Where are you, darlings? Darlings, what about you? What do you look like? No, you're not going to... Oh, I don't know. That's quite pretty. Oh, a bit of pink. Oh, yeah, I'm feeling that. And then it's bringing the black accents onto the windows as well. Stunning. Stunning. Stunning and stunning. Oh, that's nice. That's a pretty building, isn't it? That is a very pretty building. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll do that. We'll get a little chimney on. A little, a little chimney. It needs to be in a pale brick. It's maybe something like you... Can I do two? I probably could, couldn't I? Oh, that looks lovely. Yes. Yes, I'm there for that one. Absolutely, 100%. Right in front of it and there for it. I am. Um. <laughs> right, okay. And then we're going to go to the back and we're going to do exactly the same. So we'll whiff all these up on the top here. Let's shape you out. One there. One there. One there. In fact, maybe I'll... No, I won't use them all here. We'll use the big ones as well. I'm not going to do balconies back here, though, I don't think. Um, I don't think I am. I may do. I may do. I might leave that window like that as well, so I get 40 people in the comments. That window is wonky! <laughs> and I'm, I'm not being shady. I like you guys telling me when I've done something that needs to be addressed. But um, I find it hilarious all the same. I really do. Right, if I do this, and as soon as I put this on, all my wallpapers are going to disappear, aren't they? My God. It didn't. Don't hold your breath too much, though, because I reckon it will do in just a little second. Where the hell did that one go? I don't know where that one went, but there we go. What about if I do this? Eh. Eh. Oh, God, look. Look what I've done. Shit the bed. Oh, you can go to hell. Go to hell. And you. 
I know that that trim is not wrapped around there, but I'm sorry. I'm not going to faff around with that. It's the Sims 4. It's the... Excuse you. I don't know if you heard that or not, but that's literally sounded like a jet. It's some person on a motorbike. I was going to say a rude word then and I caught myself before I said it. Uh, I hate motorbikes. I really do. Um, I don't know why. It's the sound of them. They give me anxiety. Like whenever I hear a motorbike like drive past me and it's really loud, I'm like, Ugh! it just automatically makes me like wince. Like I hate it. Hate it. And my sister's got a Harley Davidson. So um, I can't be one to not uh like motorbikes but i don't i don't like them me and my sister and her husband are always out on their, their harley it's a beautiful harley davidson as well like a matte black one like, i can appreciate how gorgeous they look just don't like the sound of them oh this is screaming for windows here i might whiffle a window on there i love how whiffle has became a a channel word for us all <laughs> whiffle Right, okay. Maybe keeping in with the same family. But I could do like a... Have we got a... Like a yeah, like this kind of moment. Like one like there. Oh, that looks love. Yeah. Yeah, I'm there. Absolutely. Right in front of it and there for it. Just like I was before. Can I flop one up the top there as well? Not... Where would you go? Oh, you'll sit in the middle, you absolute bastard. I was hoping that... Um, a smaller one would do that, but because that one's, it won't. This one, what I mean by that is if I'd went to do that now, it would be like two there. Can I put two there? Would that look weird? I'm going to try it for science anyway, just to see. I kind of like that. It's not too bad. I prefer it with just those two though. It's more realistic. Yeah, we'll keep that. We'll keep that. Okay. Right. Anyway, we're going to go back to the back. Get that jutting exterior trim we're going to change the lighting around here as well just so it's prettier there we go and um, we're going to be dropping all over the show as well because this lot is at multi heights everywhere so the sims 4 camera just farts and i don't know what i'm doing <laughs> is what the sims 4 camera would sound like if it spoke um Yeah. Okay, Aiden. Okay, and we're going to drop down there. And we're going to go back here. I'm going to whiffle that one on there. Can I do four here? I think I might, actually. Yeah, I think I'm going to do four back here because we've got the room for it. Oh, yeah, we're going to flop that one right up there. Just for, you you know, just shits and giggles, really. Yeah, that's cute. That is cute. Again, here for it. And what I might do down here is put two of these little windows there. In fact, I'm going to do two of them there and there. And then we're going to put a door here, sweeties. Sweeties, sweeties. Right, I need to get down to the level now because I just cannot with the camera. Eh, you look more interior door to me. I want it to be a bit more exterior. <laughs> But I don't want any windows in it. Um, I mean, your interior door as well, aren't you? <laughs> aren't you? Can I do a double door there, maybe? I could maybe do a double door. I mean, I could. Not that one, because the graphics are hideous on that. Oh, Christ. That one's a bit large, isn't it? That's what they say. <laughs> Sorry. Moving on. Um, I'm just going to have a little think and get pull out the right door. Because I, I don't think I'm going to pull out the, the right door for this place in question as of yet. I mean, it's not what I was saying. It's still got glass and stuff on it. But I, I'm feeling that looks a bit more exterior. And it kind of goes. I think the colour's off. I always get confused with these cats and dogs doors because it comes in like two whites, but one of them's a blue white and one of them's more of a, like that white, a paler sort of flat white, which I prefer, by the way. I do not do a blue white. No, my loves. 
I'm going to stick the same dormer back here as well. Um, mainly because I can. Oh, I love it. Yeah, that's cute. Yeah, I'm happy with how this one's coming together. It's made the street look really pretty, actually. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yay. Right, okay. And you? To there, to there, to there. Down. To there, to there, and there. And then, oh. And then you. I'm going to put two down here as well. Yeah, that's cute. Yeah, that's cute, cute. Not just cute, but cute, cute. Oh. Yeah, okay. Well, I'm kind of happy with how that exterior came about. I really am. Yeah. Done. Done, done, done. So what we'll do now is I'm just going to put a few details on the front here, like a welcome mat. Um, what would you put outside of? <gasps> oh, do you know what would look really good out here? Um, hmm, let's go by room. I don't think it's in the bookshelves, but. <gasps> oh, no, maybe I could put, even though I am going to be using this object to absolute death because I love this object. But maybe I could do like some of these out here just for like. So it looks like they're kind of like the really cheap books that you can like have a rifle through. Do you know what I mean? In fact, I'm going to do two of these, but I'm going to turn that around just so it doesn't repeat the textures. Yeah. And then what I'm going to do here is put in that. Oh, I don't know where that object is. Is it in here? It's that kind of like library cart of books. Now, I think it comes in some fugly colours. I can't really remember. Uh, this one. Oh, no, it's got a few. Oh, it's got a white. Oh, cool. That's a bit big. I'm going to size it down. Oh, that's a bit small now. Let's have a look. Let's get the balance right here first, anyway. Oh, that's quite, kind of cute. I think I might actually put a sign out here as well, like a sale sign. I know that they've got one. Um, What do you have on it? Is that just clothes? Yeah. Uh, Yeah, this one here I was meaning. Should I do it in a black? Yeah, I think I do. Yeah, we'll do like kind of markdown prices on these books. Oh, I love that. Yeah, that's just brought a little bit of like, you know, je ne sais quoi to the front of the shop which is what I wanted which is absolutely what I wanted we're gonna go with it okay um okay oh that, that wouldn't be a bad tone to go there yeah we'll flop that there just like this yeah that's kind of cute I do think we need a light above the um door in question though so I'm gonna put a light above it too Maybe a nice, like, white lantern. Maybe a nice white lantern. Have a look at you. God, you're bloody massive, aren't you? Look at the size of you. If I can just plop you to there. Have a little look. Could I just delete that? Oh, no. There we go. Yeah, that's better. Yeah. Yeah, obviously it'll look better inside once we've got the actual um, shape of it going down. The only problem is, is where do I put the stairs? Because we're going to have stairs going down, aren't we? Maybe we'll map the area out first. I'm just going to do the same footprint as what we've got here for underneath. Um, so I'm going to map this basement out to there. I might take these stairs and actually that would give me a bit more room to play with. There we go. Okay. Uh, stairs. Uh, we'll do some white basement stairs like so. Now it's just getting it in the right area. I'm going to just put that there to begin with. This might be okay. Yeah, it is. It's fine. Because what I can do here is I won't wall this in. I'll just put a, um, a fence around it. Like a nice, just white, simple... 
Yeah, maybe this one. I love the details on this. Yeah, that'd be cute. Let's have a look. Oh, that's cute. Yeah, because the door opens up one tile there. It's got another tile for space. And then it goes downstairs. Um, and we can have the... The till area maybe like around here. That's not giving me a lot of room though. It would have been better in here. Maybe I could do that. I could put the till here. Because this is like an entrance for the staff and stuff then. Yeah. We'll do that. And I know it's not realistic. One of you guys thought out like oh there's no toilet in the florist um it's just hard to try and squeeze in as much realism sometimes it really is so yeah we skipped out on a toilet for the uh the florist and the same with the bookstore maybe they just go out into the communal garden and piss into the chrysanthemums <laughs> who can say <laughs> i wouldn't want anyone pissing in my chrysanthemums i don't even have any chrysanthemums i've said chrysanthemums an awful lot <laughs> Uh, shush. Right, anyway, let's move on. Let's move on. We're going to start putting in the community garden now. Is this the best lighting for here? No, there we go. This is the best lighting for the community garden. So my thoughts were just mainly planting down some planters and maybe just a small little, like, hut where you keep all of the, like, um... Uh, oh, the only problem is it's like a medium height wall and it won't look like a cute tiny hut that's going to be the problem um how can i get around that i can't really no i can't just gonna have to do it gonna have to have a medium height wall yeah like a small little hut where they can store all of their like equipment for gardening we're gonna put a few of the scarecrows out i forgot what he's called peter no patchy patchy peter is it called peter <laughs> Peter the Scarecrow. <laughs> um, yeah, we'll do this. We're going to make it smaller than the greenhouse. Let me get this on. Uh, we'll do it like a three. Oh, it looks really, really tall and weird. Damn. Damn it. But maybe we can make it look cute. Maybe we can still make it look cute, even though it is at a tall height. Maybe I'll be able to, like, morph the roof down on it. Let's have a look. And what I mean by that is like pull the roof down, the trims down, just to make the walls look uh, shorter. That might help. No, it's not going to help. <laughs> it's definitely not going to help. That's a shame. That is a shame. I'm going to flatten it out a little bit even more, I think. No, we're definitely going to keep it like that there. Oh, I'm sad. I'm sad that it looks large. I am. Um, uh, wonder if I could do a better shape with this. Um, if I maybe just pull you flat and then copy you. And just do it a little bit offset into the middle, maybe. Just so I can pull this up. No, I don't think this is going to work. It might do. It might not. Nope, that looks absolutely wank. <laughs> wow. Wow. Um, let's try this again. Hmm. It might work. It might not. Oh, there we go. Lovely. Um, that's a little bit better. That's the kind of thing I wanted. Yeah, yeah, that'll do. Yeah, stunning. And then, like, a cute colour. Like, the the kind of, like, like it's been hand-painted by the community. I know what... This has just popped into my head. The panelling. This one. This comes in a really, like, cute... What about a cute, like, blue or yellow? Oh, I'm feeling the yellow, I think. Let's have a look at that blue again. Oh, I know. I kind of like the blue. Oh, that blue. That blue. That one. Yep, that's the one. Yeah, that one. Okay. And then like a... Yep, this roof. Stunning. Can we go a little bit... I don't want to go green. Do I? Oh. Oh. It's very matchy-matchy though. I want to clash the colours a little bit. Maybe going yellow with the roof. Oh, that's cute. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll do that. Can we... Have we got yellow trims? 
Well, they're kind of not really. We could, we have got the blue there. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. That's too wide as well. That's perfect because my idea for the door, again, being community esque. Oh, that's really cute. That's too short. That's too short. Oh, this one's going to be quite short as well, though. Oh, you bastard. I thought you were too wide. Oh, that's really cute. That would have looked so cute with it. Um. Oh, and that color tone as well. Bugger it. We're using it. Oh, no, I don't like it where it's offset. It needs to be in the middle. It needs to be in the middle. Damn. Damn you. I might have to go for this one, you know, and put it in the middle. I really like the uh, the rainbow as well. I really do. It's so short compared to it. <laughs> that makes me sad. I'm just thinking, what can we do here to make this like less um, tall? I'm going to have a little think about this, actually, and come back in a second. Okay, so <laughs> I've just decorated it around a little bit. I ended up just putting a flower box above the door. This, um, uh, li this life boy, is that what you call them? Or, like, yeah, whatever. Uh, one of them. <laughs> uh, also, this garage door. I thought maybe this used to be an old, like, place where they would fix up motorbikes or something. Something along those lines. But the community have kind of painted it and just made it look a little bit more friendly. Uh, we're going to put a couple of windows back here. But I just thought that was cute. And do you see what I mean? It's just kind of balanced it out now. This door doesn't look too short for the building now. Just because everything else is kind of detailed upwards. Um, yeah. I kind of like it. It's not my aesthetic, but I do enjoy it. Maybe like one of these windows. Um... Can I do like... No, that's too much. Yeah, maybe just one like that. Just there. And maybe do two more on this side. Like here and here. Is that the right height? Nope. There we go. One there. And one there. Yeah, that's cute. That is cute. So that's like a little like... Just a community little storage place where they keep all their goodies. Um, we'll go in there and we'll decorate that up a little bit more. I just want to get the layout of the community garden in first. Uh, we'll also put like another flower arranging table and stuff in there. So there's some activities. Maybe also like the pumpkin putt carving station for the kids. Yeah, let's do it. Okay. Anyway, let's get on to the planters. I think we'll just use the generic game ones. Um, yeah, I think these will look cute here. Maybe going for the darker wood. Now, I want to get this balance right because I know that I, a lot of my sims have trouble with this getting to them. So, I'm going to do it just, just right, my loves. One there. We're not going to be able to fit another one in. No, we're not. So, what I'm going to do here is mainly do like a, maybe do like a little seating area where everyone can sit down. That would be cute. Um, The fence is there. So, this one needs to come to like there. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Okay. Have a look at that. Yeah, that's cute. I might actually do a tree here and maybe do the bent couple of benches underneath the tree. That could be cute. Maybe the tree with the lanterns in in it. I know it's huge, but I might be able to size it down and get away with it here. Hopefully. Maybe not. Oh. Can I size you down one more without looking weird? It's gonna. The Sims are gonna hit their head and stuff on that. No, that's a shame. That would have been a really cool tree to put there. Um, I need one that's gonna look like it would shade, shade the the people who'd wish to sit under. I mean, that's cute, but it's just not the right one. Maybe a really cute like blossom tree. Um, where's this one? Yeah, like this. This is very small, though. Oh, that is lovely, though. I love this tree. This tree come with cats and dogs. Yeah, I'm kind of there for that. That would be really cute in a community garden, wouldn't it? Yes. Yeah, 
Okay, I'm happy with that. And bench-wise, I think, again, we're trying to keep in with that kind of handcrafted look. So, I'm sure there was a bench with, like, like patterns on it. As in, like, it'd been, sp like, sprayed. I'm sorry, I've got an itchy nose. Um, I can't remember where that was. I'm sure there was. Am I going mad? I'm sure you were here. I'm going to find it. Give me one second. And that's all I needed was one second. I knew I'd seen it. This game with City Living. We're going to do a few of these, I think. Such a cute little bench. We'll do them in all different colours as well. But we'll keep them bright. But still fitting in with the aesthetics. So maybe like... No, I didn't like that one. That one's very bright. I suppose it could be... Yeah, that's fine. I'm going to move this one in. Just one. And maybe put another one there. In fact, I'm going to shuffle them all in and just do two. One, two. Can I do three? Yeah, that looks cute, actually. Yeah, that does look cute. And then maybe this one here will just mute the tone down to a blue. Or oh, the yellow. In fact, we'll do that one, that one. And then we'll do a blue one here. There we go. That's better. That's a little bit better. Yeah, that's fun. That is fun. Fun, fun. And we're going to terrain paint a lot of this, I think. In fact, we'll probably terrain paint most of it. Um, and we'll just leave the grassy area where the tree is. I'm going to maneuver this around a little bit more. Like so. Yeah, that's better. Okay. And um, really cute terrain paint, I think, to use. Maybe... The, um, <laughs> this one here would look cute. It would. It would, but I'm thinking more like patio. Uh, or this one. Yeah, this one. That's the girl. That's the one. She's the girl. Uh, there we go. Yeah, that's cute. Because it's still got all, like, the weeds and stuff in the place. Gives a little bit of a rustic vibes coming. Right, and then I'm going to tuck you to there. Let's see what we're doing here. Yep, that's fine. And then we'll do the same all the way along here. Yeah, that's giving me the vibes that I want, which is good. I'm going to paint, even though you can't see it, I'm going to paint underneath there too. Just for vibes. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. And I think what I'm going to do, actually, I'm going to push you in just into that, box you into there, and then I'm going to fence this area in with a really cute yellow fence, maybe? Oh, that's not that one. That's this one I wanted, love. That's very tall. I thought I could have sworn you were shorter. I could have sworn you were shorter, my love. Maybe not. Maybe we'll have to go for this one, then. Very cute. Eh, that's too much, I think. I know I've got rainbows all around, but I think this one is just a little bit too much. I think we're going to go for a white there. Yeah, I do think so. I do. I bloody do think so. Maybe a blue? Eh. Or green? Oh, the green. Yeah, the green. Just it's still a bit of colour there. That's better. Yeah, the green's a much better colour there. Okay. Okay. Right, I'm just going to tidy up this terrain paint here. Because it's just really bothering me. And then I'm going to soil this one in. Um, in a dark soil. Not the dark, is the... I'll just keep it in this one. There we are. Mm-hmm. Cute. Cute, cute, cute. Okay. So, we need to get some activities going in here. So, activities and skills, outdoor, recreation. Here we are. So, 
we could bring it up. Oh, we need the scarecrow for a start. We're going to put the scarecrow in this corner here. I think it would look rather smashing here. God, he's a little bit scary, isn't he? <laughs> he's a little bit freaky. Every, could you come in it? No, you come. You only come in that tone. Okay. Um, we'll get some water bloom buckets as well, just for the kiddies. Lovely. Or one. We'll get one there. Uh, what else can we do here? Um, we're going to put all of these in here. Uh, so we won't put them outside. I do want some outdoor skills. We'll bring out one of these as well. My game is frozen. One second, I'm going to save. Oh, that was scary. There we go. So we got that one. <laughs> um, I would like a game. Oh, that's massive though, isn't it? Would have been cute to have a little game here. Do you know what? I'm going to get rid of one planter and have a game for the community to play. I think that would be cute here. Like a little horseshoe game. Game of horseshoes. And... Ah. Oh, no, we won't go with a basketball hoop. Oh, we'll definitely need you though. We'll put you near the tree. We'll put you near the tree. There we go. Oh, that's cutting into the fence there there we go um what color bring it maybe bring in the yellow over there as well there we go yes stunning and maybe what's this the bric-a-brac shack i oh, see that would have been the perfect height for oh that would have been a perfect height for that little hut but oh well We've made the best of what we've had. Yeah, okay. So there's a few little activities that they can do. We'll get some of these going around as well. And uh, maybe we'll put them on the actual... What one's this one? This is the ceramic. No, I want more bamboo, darling. The bamboo sound. Yeah, that's the fine color as well. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Okay. Oh, we could have put a beehive here. Yeah, we'll put a couple of beehives as well. Or maybe just one. Yeah, we'll do one. We'll do one there. Little beehive. We'll keep it in that tone as well. Kind of matches in nicely. Um, Obviously, we need to get these out too. Because we need to put them in here. I'm going to get a little light little light going in here maybe the just the normal like light bulb that just hangs from the ceiling uh where are you darling i always struggle finding this light bulb where are you i cannot see where you are there you are yep smack bang in the middle um floor we'll do the spooky floor um they don't really come in any fun color oh there we go that green Okay, so we'll get the flower arranging table. Stunning. We'll tuck you right into the corner. And then, we'll, does this come in a yellow? <clears throat> yeah, there we go. That's nice. What about the pumpkin carving station? Pumpkin. Do, 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 do. There we go. Creative carving station. We'll flop that into the corner as well. Yeah, cute. Cute, cute, cute. Okay, maybe a little bonsai tree as well out here somewhere. And I've also just seen something else that would work really well here too. So maybe putting the bonsai tree up into this corner. I don't think that comes in any swatches, doesn't it? No, it does not. Um, maybe a little easel. I'm gonna push I'm gonna put an easel up here. And then maybe just push this, these benches in just a bit more. So Sims can actually get past it a little bit better. Yeah, that's cute. They definitely need to put a rubbish bin as well here. So maybe what I'll do is put the easel there. And then put a rubbish bin in this corner over here. Um. Oh, no, kitchen. Um, we'll do like a community looking one. Yeah, like this. There we go. Over into that corner. 
Um, there was something else that just crept into my head. What, what was I looking at that gave me the idea? Um, it was something. I don't know. I think it was in the same place as where I got this from. So let's go back to where we were here. There, this one here. This is the community notice board of all the things that's going on. So I'll maybe plonk that there, actually. And move that one up a little bit higher. There we go. Is that going to be weird with the roof? Nope, it's fine. Cute. Cute, cute, cute. Anyway, let's carry on in here. Let's check a few more details in here. I'm thinking... I definitely want those seeds again. But it's just where to put them. I might actually just bring one of these out just because it looks like it would house stuff. Stuff for the community. <laughs> you know. And a cooler box as well for food. Just in case. Just in case you... They get a little bit snacky. And I'm actually going to bring this one out and put it just over there. Just so it looks like we can have some toddlers running around here too. Cute. Okay. Right. And then I'll maybe plonk this one in here. How big are you? Oh, you're massive. Oh, that's a shame. That is a shame. Maybe if I just maneuver this around a bit better. If I put and tuck you into the corner there. Main reasons being, we need somewhere to put our seeds. That's a little bit scary. Oh, there we go. That colour looks well in there. And maybe I could fit you into the corner there. In fact, what I'm going to do is shuffle you along to there. Maybe plonk you in that orientation there. The cooler can go there. Is that going to give enough space? It should do. The Sims should be able to get in that, shouldn't they? Oh, I hope so. Mm, maybe I can put that there, actually. Because you can still... Sims can still get to that. And it doesn't obstruct... Like, Because when I had this here, this would have obstructed the door. That's why I've put this in that orientation. Yeah, like that. And then you can go there. I don't like the red. Got any other colours, my love? There we go. Stunning. Yeah, that should be better. Yes. That's looking better. And then what I was going to do with this is just put loads of the seeds out here. So the community can just take their pick into whatever they like. And do whatever they want with whatever they've got. Um, Maybe a few of these around might be able to put a few of these around because he's coming this i like the green color it's cute it's cute i'll put you in that way not over there can i put one up here oh i can put a couple here yeah we do a couple here look there we go cute oh that's adorable adorable i tell you right, okay more Uncommon plants. Yep, I'll have a bit of you. Whatever you are as well. Stunning. Catnip. There we go. Keep the cats happy. Gotta have a happy pussy. <laughs> <sighs> sorry. Okay. I'm sorry. Right, maybe just a few of these little stickers around. Uh, oh, no, we won't use that. We'll use a couple of these, just these trees. Yeah, just a couple of these little happy trees. Like um, Bob Ross loves a happy tree. Where did I just get you from there? Yeah, we'll just do a couple of happy trees in here. That would be that would be fine. Maybe one a bit lower. Yeah, there we go. I'm kind of happy with that. I think there's enough detail in there without being too cluttered around with detail. So we've got ourselves the community little garden area now. Now I don't, in fact, I don't think the light is going to be light lit well. So I'm thinking maybe adding just a few of these street lamps through this lane area. But maybe I could plonk like maybe one there. Would they be able to still play there? I uh, don't know. Let's try. We'll put one there. 
And it's, these are a good place to have them, like on this, these bits here. One there. Another one there, maybe. I would like another one here. Maybe we can just plonk one there. In fact, we'll keep them to the outside and we'll put the other one there as well. Yeah. I mean, they're massive and they do take a bit of room, but it's not too bad. It is not too bad at all. So there we have it, my friends. We've got the exterior done to the last building. <gasps> this is finally all shelled up now. We've got the bookshop on its way. Next time, um, we're going to be furnishing the whole lot of this. So we'll furnish the... Uh, bookstore will also go and we'll do the yoga studio as well so we'll just do them both together because then i can make a start on the next let's build new crest build because i'm itching to start the next let's let's build new crest build i really am but yeah we've done we've not done too bad today my loves not done too bad at all and in quite a good amount of time as well i'm getting better at this lock i tell you yeah that's cute that's cute it's definitely puddled this uh, lot together, having those buildings off to the left a bit taller than the middle ones. I enjoy that. I very much do. Ah, okay. Well, thank you very much for coming today, everybody. I really appreciate it. Um, I will be back either tomorrow or the next day with the rest of this for the last one of Newcrest Promenade. We're going to stick all of the bookstore and the yoga studio together and just do a big, chunky interior build i think that'd be the best way okay but yeah thank you for coming today and i will see you in my next video bye everyone